Seattle, Washington, a seemingly normal American city. Until you take a closer look. Tonight, join us for Unsolved Mysteries of Seattle. A new restaurant opens in nearby Linwood, but it's not owned by anyone named Hooter, nor is any owl meat served on the menu. You work here? Yeah. Why is this restaurant called Hooters? I don't know. And who can explain this anomaly in South King County that brings people to marvel at the roadway with no potholes? And what of the amazing ability of this Bothell woman? The Cartoon Channel is on 34. 35 is Northwest Cable News. She knows where all the new TCI channels are located. There are other mysteries. Who thought this was a good idea? What mysterious forces are eating away this building? And what exactly is being sold at this company? Or for that matter, this one. And then there's the mystery of Pioneer Square. 807 First Avenue. The only remaining doorway in Pioneer Square that does not smell like pee. Well, there goes that one. Witness the unlikely story of Bridget Gunderson. Well, I don't have any piercings. I don't have any tattoos. I've never been in rehab, and I really like people. And yet, this woman has a job here. One mystery was recently solved. Last week, we told you the story of a Marysville man struck by a football. Thanks to an alert viewer who recognized the errant pass as one thrown two seasons ago by Seahawks quarterback Rick Meyer. And get a load of this one. The way I see it, I've done without it all this time. I can do without it forever. And it's just nice to see other people happy. They are people who do not own any Microsoft stock and yet are not bitter about it. And witness this mysterious building where in just the past week, the Seattle Supersonics have disappeared twice. <laughs> Anyone with any information, anything at all, <coughs> contact somebody immediately. <coughs> because until you do, these will remain the <coughs> unsolved mysteries of Seattle. <coughs>